Hey guys, Rory from ANS Gear. We're up on the table today with Bunker Kings goggles. So this is the uh, CMD goggle from Bunker Kings. We've got all the colors up on the table. I'll try to remember what the color names are. Uh, so let's just go through uh, the goggles real quick, the colors. Uh, we'll start over here. This is black acid, the black and green. This is the packaging that you're gonna get right here. This is the box, how it comes in there. Uh, this one is sealed up still. Let me just cut this real quick. We can pop this goggle out. So you're going to get your goggle. Like I said, this is the black acid, black and green right here. Every strap is going to be unique to the goggle color. So the black acid is going to come with this green strap on it. And all the straps are going to be different on there. Along with that, you're going to get a matching mask bag. And then mask bags are going to be specific to the color of the goggle itself. Um, so each mask bag that comes with it is uh, different than the other ones. So all the black acids are gonna have this kind of barrel uh, or uh, mask bag with it. You got that. And then you got a little bit of a little uh, manual maybe? I'm not sure quite what that is down in there. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's just a little flyer of like things that they've got right there. Uh, there's a little coupon thingy right there with a the coupon code. So yeah, got that. So that's what it's gonna look like right there. I'm gonna put that stuff in there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then we'll talk about colorways on this. So black acid we've got right there. This is midnight azure. So this is kind of a black and a blue. And it comes with this uh, purpley blue lens. Now, when you pick up one of these goggles, the CMD goggles, you'll be able to get it with any of the uh, lenses that you want. So um, you'll see a drop down and you can change lenses or it just might be another option for this goggle with the other lens in there. So you'll be able to choose lens colors on there. And then we've got our blue goggle bag right there. And this is Black Demon. So this is the black and red. Actually, this is kind of like a gray and red. Not so black. Yeah, it's a grayish red on there. It comes with a like a uh, reddish orange lens in it. And also has the strap, has like a demon strap on there. And then again, the matching goggle bag for that one. This is uh, black carbon right here. So it has like a mirror chrome lens, has like this honeycomb pattern on the strap. And then you got the matching bag on that one. So black carbon. And then I believe this one's called pitch black. So this is the all black one right here. Got this strap on the back right there. And then we've got a matching goggle bag for that one. We got Highlander camo. That's what the strap's going to look like on there. Then the matching goggle bag as well for Highlander camo. Uh, this is uh, Black Samurai, has a samurai picture on the back for the strap. And then our front right there, again, matching bag for that. And then up here, this is Black Panther. So we've got some gray accenting around there. This is what the strap looks like on the back. And then matching bag as well. All right, so let's kind of move these out of the way a little bit. <coughs> then we can look at the goggle itself, get this out of the way. I'm gonna do a little zoomy zoom, come on down, and then we can see this right here. All right, so it does have the chin strap on the bottom. The chin strap is just your standard squeeze to release and then snap together chin strap. Goggle strap is adjustable just by pulling and sliding on the um, the links at the back. So we can slide to tighten and we can slide to loosen, whichever way we need to go on that. We've got this really nice soft foam on the inside and the foam is stamped Bunker Kings on there. It's kind of like embossed into the foam right there. Uh, the straps themselves, or the, the lens itself is gonna come out the same way as the Virtue goggle does. So there's a little tab that's right here. 
the back side of this, let's see if I can get this out of the way. So where the strap comes together and snaps into this housing piece that you see right here, when it's pulled back like this, it kind of locks itself in place so that it can't move. If we push this forward, it allows that lock to be pushed down. So when that's up like that, I can push that down. Now I noticed when I did these other goggles before, the Virtue goggles, um, that lock, that pivot is really hard, or that tab, I guess, is hard to push down the first couple times. And to do it with my thumb, I really wasn't able to get it to go down. So what I found was using like a flathead screwdriver just to help push it down, really made it easier to do. I'm gonna push, make sure that this is forward to release the tab. And then I can push that in and then I can pull this out. And this is that little tab. This is what I'm pushing down on to get that to flex underneath so that then it can slide out. Again, I'm gonna do that the other side as well. Remember the first thing I need to do is push it forward so that that tab can drop out of the way. And I'm gonna push it down and then I'm gonna slide it out. just like that, and that comes out. Once these two tabs have been pulled out completely, these two pivots right here can pivot towards the inside. One and two. Once these pivots come inside, they release the lens itself. You can see the lens is sticking out right here, and this pivot has a little block on the inside of it here and here. So when this pivot is in the out position, that block holds the lens from being able to slide forward. So when we pivot it back, the block comes out of the hole in the lens, releasing the lens so that we could then slide it forward, just like that. Now we could change this for uh, the same one, if it was all scratched up and beat up, or change it for one of the other colors. And if I pull these lenses over here, you can see these colors for lens that we have right here. So this is like a high def version of the lens right there. So we've got a gold mirror version. We've got the orangish red one. This is what we saw on the uh, Black Demon, I believe. And this one is kind of like the high def right here, but it has more of a purple kind of highlight to it. This one almost has like a, almost like a mirror chrome highlight to it for that high def right there. And then this one right here is very, very purple, but still has some of that, um, that high def uh, bronzes orange to it. Let's see if these two kind of look the same to me. Yeah, they look to be about the same. All right, so there's your lens options when it comes to the Virtue, uh, the Virtue, uh, the CMD goggle. Uh, and then when we're done, we've got our new lens or we've got our lens swap or whatever we're gonna do. We just slide that back in. I'm gonna use a little microfiber to make sure that the lens is all the way in. And I'm gonna take my pivot, I'm gonna lock it back over, take my other pivot, Push it back over, and that pivot now has locked that lens into place. And then while that's locked in place, I'm gonna slide my tab from my strap back into the pivot and lock the pivot in place. Now, as I'm doing that, I wanna make sure that this pivot does not rotate back forward, and then I slide this in, because now I have not secured the pivot and lens together. I've just run the strap into the pivot but the pivot isn't secured with the lens as well, and the lens could just pop right out. So we wanna make sure we keep this engaged and then slide our pivot in, and once or our, our uh, tab in, once the tab is in, then we pull it back to make sure that it's locked in place, and then I'm going to pull on that and make sure that it isn't uh, 
that it is engaged with the lens. So again, make sure my pivot is pushed to the side, run my tab in, pull it back to lock it, and then make sure it's secure, which it is. All right, so there we have it. The Virtue CMD goggle. I'm gonna put this one on just so you can kind of see the difference or see how it looks on. Tighten that up a little bit. It's a wide goggle. It feels wide on the sides, which I like. I don't like feeling a goggle that's right up against my body. I don't like this side pushing against my jawline or pushing against my head. Um, the strap's comfortable. It's got good coverage on the back. Decent coverage on the chin right here. But I like this right here. This is comfortable. I don't feel it pushing against me. It's flexible. Yeah, that's nice. There you go. That's the uh, Virtue CMD goggle. Ooh, I forgot about the strap. It's available on the website. Get yours today in all the colors at ansgear.com.